Okay, I wrote this rudiment kind of elementary thing to just practice getting comfortable switching from the pedals to the hi-hats. So I'm just taking it through all the different possible combinations of bass drums that I can just by doing this. taking that so that's one way you could do it and then you could also flip it then you could if you're involving this third bass drum you could say which is just a little bit harder because you have to send that reach more. I'm still working on keeping everything where I want it. it. Scoots away from me, I'm very new to this. So if you're here, uh, I'm pretty sure we just, is that what we just did? You could also flip that and say, Uh, and then mirror that whole thing over here as well. <laughs> that one's hard. Uh, you could also do the opposite of that. So that's just what I'm working on today. Uh, hopefully I'll find some other cool exercises to go along with that. And I'll pick one of those and maybe do something on top of that with the hands later on. But I just wanted to share that concept with you guys about trying to make that jump. If you could tell when I'm right here. If you didn't watch my earlier videos, you, you'll notice that this is a right hand pedal that I'm using the left foot on. This is a left hand pedal that I'm using the right foot on to get the reach to go. And then this is just a single pedal in the middle. So you'll notice that when I'm over here, it's kind of a short gap, same thing here. But when I bring the foot, whichever foot it is that I bring to the middle, you have to make that jump almost twice as far. doing yet with this <laughs> but that's okay just some tips I wanted to share pedal tips and tricks there you go peace